Hello everybody, this is Naomi. Today is my second day to do my 30 day challenge on 30 different crafts. So today I am going to do vintage memory dex cards. I've never made vintage memory dex cards so I want to give it a whirl. So I've pulled out some eyelash trim in the light brown and I have some of the darker brown that I have pulled out. Let me adjust my camera just a bit. There we go. Um, I have pulled out some trim. Uh, not trim. Lace, excuse me. And I've got some different laces here. I've pulled out different ephemeras and um, stickers and things like this that I'm going to incorporate. And I don't have a uh, die for the memory dex cards. These have been gifted to me. So I'm going to use up some of the ones that have been gifted from some very dear friends. So here these are. There's this one. And I'm sure some of you recognize the pieces that you've sent to me and then these two so i'm going to set those there and i've pulled out some uh rice paper or tissue paper however you want to put it um i've got old vintage papers uh music sheets and then this was a brown sock but it has old vintage news clippings like on it so i'm going to incorporate all of these onto my tags and make some vintage tags so i hope you're interested i hope you'll stay with me and let's do some crafting i think i'm going to use the back on that one same with that one, this one, I'm just going to cover it up, and brand new bottle of fabric tack that I've never used yet, oh come on. Some of these tabs are hard to get off. Okay, I think I got it. Let me get all this plastic off. Put the lid back on. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to use this because I want to keep the um, image there but I want it to be softer in the background Here we got a good tack down to the edges. That way this will stick the way we want it to stick. And then I'm going to just bring it down like so and easily rub it out. And see I like how it just barely comes through the image. So, I'm going to set this one to the side and let it dry. So, this one. I was debating on whether I wanted to keep the rose pattern. And just add to it. Which I think I'm going to. I think 
that's what I'm going to do. out of my way where I can see what I'm doing so there's that need a little bit right here and any of the hang off will just Trim up whenever it's time. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, to add some different textures, I'm going to take these old scissors. it a different look plus I'm going to put this mainly got that out so whenever I use my laces it'll adhese a little better I'm gonna go back to my art glitter glue I like it pretty good for paper stuff fixing to try the barely glue or whatever it is out. So I'm gonna put that there. I wanna keep some of the flower pattern in it. So, I will be right back after I cut this out. Okay, so I went ahead and cut out the other one as well. So now I'm going to start adding some elements to it. And go from there. Okay. I have this tag here. want to put uh, kind of like that as a pull I'm going to put a dangly from it that she'll be able to, whoever gets it, will be able to either take off or leave on it as a, okay, I'm going to take this little dress. Oh, wait a minute. 
Huh, I think this would look better over here. So, what if... No. Okay. <clears throat> To put that right there, and Start with, I think I'm going to use some lace. Fabric tape. Mm, I'm gonna run a straight bead straight across, and then I'm going to take this go up and under a piece there. I'm just going to tack it down just like so. Cut this off. I'm going to dry this real quick and I'll be right back. So there's that. I'm going to Sometimes I hate these things because they unravel where you don't want them to unravel. And they become more of a mess than what you need. So, I'm 
going to cut me off a little short spread of this. And I want the same with this one. don't need it this long but I want to make sure I got enough hairs all over the place gone and we'll continue so this one Okay, now I'm going to cut the holes in that paper. Got them lined up good. Now I'm going to put this back so that I can see where that hole is. And it doesn't cover it up. So there's that first one. And I still got to make the little bead thingy that I'm going to put over here, but that's going to stay there too. So there's one down. And there's what the back looks like, which I have my tag that I will put on the back. So now I want to take this one. 
Hold on a minute. Okay, sorry, I found her. So, I'm going to put this little girl right here. Just like so. And I'm going to put this little dress here. I was looking for um, and you know what I'm going to do? I will never use this little birdcage thing. Not for birdcage. I mean, on the stand. So, I'm going to flip it here. Just like so. And I'm going to put, like, this little dress is on a mannequin. There's that. that which I will have to take something I know what I'll do I've got my powder just run over the edges to knock the sticky on that'll get rid of any sticky easily pull this back up and wear that oh there's my thingy it's done dried out I'm hoping to do six of these in this video but if it gets to be too long I won't be able to do that, so I'm trying to hurry, you know what I mean? So we're going to put it right here, just like so. Make sure I line that back up so the sticky is all gone. Part of that sticky from where the bowl was is still there. But there she is. I'm going to put her over here. Just like so. like she's showing off her new clothes or clothes she's gonna get Not going to do that. 
think I am going to put this bow back, but I'm going to put it on the little girl right here on her dress. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, so there's two, this one and that one, so my next one, I've got this purple, this blue color that, uh, wait a minute, I knew I was missing something, I had picked this out. And I was debating on whether, no, it just doesn't look right. So, let's just leave it. Okay, back to this. Let's Anyways, so I think we're just going to do some more collaging and see what happens. We are getting some storms right now, some rain, the temperature is nice and Hoping we don't lose energy because if we do, we're gonna be losing my connection to do this video. So there's that. And let's see. Where's the other one at? Paper towel, here it is. So we're going to put it here. Just like so. And I'm going to
the thing is, we can get all of this out or off. If it hangs off a little bit, it's not going to bother nothing. So I'm going to take a little bit of this trim. I think I'm going to take and just right here and trim it down just a little. have a little spritzer that I use to kind of help keep my that's what I like about this you just use a little water and boom it's gone okay so back to this come up here and we're going to trim away any extra like so. So that is that. Then I have, uh, where is she? I have a lady that I definitely want to use here. put around here and remove this part. It don't need to be here. So, 
while I'm in here, I'm going to go ahead and clip out this here. That way it's gone. And I know not to cover up anymore. just like this I need to see where not to go past okay that then the one that I had a want to do where did it go okay I found what I was looking for so I'm going to put this right here where it says love and laughter just like that then I found these beautiful flowers. They're not very big flowers. Give them a good right there. There's number three. Okay, let's get to number four. Be back in one minute. Okay, I'm back. Um, I really didn't like any of the other ones to go with this picture. I really want to use this one. So, I 
cut the inside of this frame out and I put this woman in this frame. I think she looks real pretty in it. So now I'm going to center her in here. And I'm trying to debate on how and what I want to do. Okay. So from here. I used this image in another project and I, ju I just love the way she looks. Very beautiful, elegant woman. And so I wanted to use her in this one as well. Isn't she pretty though? I just love her. So, um, okay, I've got these little flowers, and whenever I first seen them, my first thought was vintage. Am I wrong or right? I mean, come on, look at them. Aren't they just pretty? So, I'm going to put some on here. Just highlight this frame. Come on, tight down. It always takes a minute. I'm such a glitter magnet, so this this stuff will be all over me. So I'm not going to go crazy over here. I'm just going to. Put a, a couple of different ones. Here and there. I'm not going to do a lot on this because the picture itself just does it. So, there's that one. It's quick, simple, and easy. A little of vintage. And that's what, that's four. So we got two more. Hold on. I am so sorry. I got to looking and I wasn't recording. So I've put this paper on the front of this. And I am in the processes of putting this little guy down. And I got to show you the other one that I've already done while we were off camera. Yep. 
Okay, I put one down that I didn't need down. Because his head hangs up. So, there's that. And I'm going to put this bike down right here. But I'm going to scoot it over a little. And I like this flag that comes in behind here. And I'm debating on whether I want to puff this up too. And I think I'm going to... This is going to go right here, just like so. And then I'm going to take this, I'm just going to cut off records. this real quick lightly go around this here give it a little bit of color and I'm going to put it right here and there is that one and I made this other one off camera I, like I said I honestly thought I had it recording and apparently I didn't so let me bring all of these back over so you can see all of them so there's those two here is this one this one this one and this one oops We're not able to okay we'll just do it this way there's that one and here's this one there is this one and it just bothers me you didn't get to see me make that one and here's the last one here's this one with the little girl and then here's this one Okay, that's what I've got for my vintage memory decks cards. Um, if you like my video, hit the like and subscribe. Help me keep growing and help me keep crafting. Thank you and have a blessed day. Hope you enjoyed the video.